Sagittarius. Welcome to your second week of November energy reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, of Venus placements. This is a general reading. All of it may not resonate. This may be something that is happening happened in the recent past that's coming to you, current energy, or coming in the near future. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Put it the, what doesn't in your pocket. It may resonate later. Also, feel free to exchange masculine feminine energies, okay? Because we all have those energies. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placement, second week of November 2022. You're a strong healer, Saggy. You help people face their shadows. Um, and you're, I feel like you're a karma giver. You can have a lot of Scorpio in your chart as well. Um, we have rest and rejuvenation in reverse. You are not resting and rejuvenating like you should. Remember, we cannot give to others without a full cup ourselves, okay? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placement, second week of November 2022. You need to have patience. We'll find out what this is about. We'll break this down with Tara in a few minutes. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placement, second week of November 2022. The angel of balance is here. Regarding a love situation, a woman holding a heart. Sixth chakra, your third eye chakra with Archangel Metatron. I feel like you're strongly connected to the etheric realm. I feel like you need to clear your energy and balance your chakras, though. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. You need to speak your truth beyond physically you. How can you serve others by telling your story? Look, there's a part of your story that can help others, but you're shy about telling it. You don't want to put your business out there. First chakra, you need to make sure you're grounded, barefoot outside. That's with Archangel Michael. Uh, don't spend too much time in the ether. Don't spend too much time on earth or ground. You gotta balance that out, is what I'm hearing. Seventh chakra, you're getting up DNA, lots of DNA energetic upgrades, and your abilities are getting stronger. This is your um, solar plexus. Your clear cognizance is getting so strong, so a lot stronger. Um, you have uh, attachment. It could be somebody wanting to attach to your energy, so be careful of that. You also have the thinking woman and the healer of the ages with Master Send to Master Jesus. Let's break these down with tarot, okay? <clears throat> Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and North Node placements. Second week of November 2022. Now, if this reading doesn't resonate with you at all, um... Look at your sun, your other signs, not just your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus. Um, to find out what that is, type in free astro charts and fill out the chart. If you don't know your birth time, that's okay. You can still get your main placements, okay? This rest and rejuvenation, they're, you're working on stability and you're raising your pinnacles, okay? Um, maybe they, for some of you, there was an emperor... Who is not providing as they should? You bring more to the table. That's not for all of you. That's just for some of you. Um, or you're working on equal give and take. What is this patience about? For Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North May placement for 2nd of November 2022. You have the Nine of Cups here. I feel like you're, like, waiting on romance or wanting a romance or wanting to be romantic some, or think about making an offer to somebody or something. Wanting when things will get better for your you. This could be your physical health, emotional, mental love. But you are going, even though the waters are turbulent, you are going to calm the waters regarding the situation. You just need help. Do you just need to remain optimistic about the outcome that you desire is what I just heard. What is the angel of balance for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placement, second week of November 2022? You have a Queen of Wands. This is something that you're very fiery or passionate about. It's like you are a very fiery, passionate person, yet you are also, I'm hearing INFJ personality. Um, the, the divine ones bring you in a cup of love. They are trying to fill your cup, but your God, Source, Energy, it's all the same thing to me. But remember, we're only supposed to give what flows over in our cup. We can't pour out an empty cup. That's why you need to rest and rejuvenate, even though you're working so hard on your pinnacles, okay? Don't forget to take time for you. Just like an oxygen mask on an airplane. If we're a plane going to crash, they tell you to put your oxygen mask on first, right? Because if you don't, no one's going to make it. Same with what you're over giving, okay? What's this woman holding her heart? This could have to do with a love or a mother-daughter dynamic. It needs healed. Um, you feel, maybe you feel stuck or stagnant. Um, you could also meet someone if you're single regarding love. Be a woman that helps you meet this 
love, or it could be a lover that's a woman. The hangman, um, you just feel stagnant when it comes to love. Some of you. There's your card, temperance. You're bound, you need to balance those masculine feminine energies, the light and the dark. We have to have some kind of ego, because if we don't, then we let people walk all over us. And I feel like some of you are learning to find that fine balance. Here's a hair with Taurus energy. It could be a Taurus you're involved with romantically, or it could be children, family, okay? could be court situations for some of you as well, official situations with someone you know could be facing a court situation, doesn't have to be you. What is this uh, six oxer about with Archangel Metatron for my Sassy Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Placent, second week of November 2022, thank you spirit. You're breaking generational curses, ancestral karma and curses, okay? The Ten of Pentacles, building generational wealth taking care of kids if they're not yours they're in your family i just heard that um page of wands this is something you're very passionate about and you it's good cause um, <clears throat> i feel you do need to balance your chakras know that you are protected from outside harm okay visualize your protection level light light protection what is this fish chakra about what is this truth that needs to be spoken about with uh, archangel gabriel for my Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Placement, second week of November 2022. Remember, this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate, okay? You have a King of Wands, which is very passionate energy, and the Empress, okay? So you need to speak the truth about how you're feeling, what's your passion, what give birth to your dreams, what is it you're passionate about, is it video games, is it mental health, is it maybe you have an illness that you can speak on and help others heal, maybe COVID for some of you, there's just different things that I feel can help you, that you have the knowledge about that you can speak out about, if you want to change it, I always say be, in my videos, be the light you wish to see, the light is the change, what do you want to change, see a change, your community, your world, your government, uh, your spiritual organization, churches, uh, laws, etc. What is this um, <clears throat> root chakra with Archangel Michael about? You can wear red. You need to wear a lot of blue or indigo too to help these other chakras uh, in purple that will help balance them or stones of that color. What is this root chakra part about with Archangel Michael or? I keep seeing 33 Master Jesus number. You're a healer. You're meant to heal your own body to help heal and heal, heal others. I'm hearing go lean more natural if you can. I feel like you should look into your ancestry or heritage and culture and look. I'm hearing go because I'm hearing money. I'm hearing the word money. I'm hearing medical profession, pharmacy. So like they're meant to keep us sick because they make money. Um, and this is where maybe harming your foundation because maybe you're sick or whether it's mental, physical, or emotional. Um, and maybe affecting your love life too. It's all my card here. Um, and you feel like you've been stabbed in the back, you know, and it's affected your stability. Get it back to basics. That's what root, root, I just heard get back to basics. But yeah, manifest like alchemy. Okay. So check that out, you know, always see a doctor and listen to your doctor, but I, I encourage you to seek out natural options. I know it's helped me a ton and I do suffer from lup or have lupus and other illnesses too. So I do know what I'm talking about. Energy work has been wonderful for me. I do do Reiki if anybody's interested. If you know someone very sick, you can comment below and I will send long distance Reiki to them and pray for them what's the seventh chakra about with archangel uriel what's this seventh chakra about you have many options but something is taking a long time beware of snakes though this is there's something that you just know you don't know how you know it. you just know it. that's your clear cognizance um it might be regarding like a father like figure or there's some father or grandfather energy you need to heal and like judgments in the reverse and they're telling you to for heal you have to feel it to heal it forgive and let go and they're trying to attach to your energy and this could be in the dream realm not just our realm if you believe in that um there this is something that you hope wish pray for and trying to manifest someone's trying to attach to that outcome and reap your benefits you are protected from harm seven of swords okay um, what is the thinking woman about Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wednesday, Placement, 2nd week of November? So, you're choosing 
to build solid stability and wondering how can I make more money? How can I build a better future for myself and my family? My um, What's the Healer of Ages about, Master Jesus? Okay, you need to heal your whack mind poverty mindset from your ancestors and your family. This is a generational thing. Keeps you in lack, and that's including with health. Um, you have a fast action being taken or a forward message. I'm telling you, some of you need to seek out healers, like energetic healers. Seriously, it really works. Reiki, um, I'm not just because I do Reiki. Um, look at natural cures. Try them. You know, do it safely, though. You feel stuck in your head and a lot of anxious and you're sick, but you can break out of that. Look. She can break free of that and rip that blindfold off so she can see more clearly. It's time for reflection. And take the leap of faith. Trust the universe. Trust God. Trust the nature's cure is what I just heard. The devil's here to try to tempt you, to get you to stay and be like, oh, that doesn't work. You know, our ancestors, we don't know nothing about that. They were sick too, but they weren't as sick as we are, right? So he's trying to get you to stay sick. But So, you know, please seek out medical professional help where needed um but do look into these things research them um you're in the you're waiting on your ships to sell them with this situation to be healed and that's what's going to help you okay so sad shares i hope this reading found you well thank you for the like share subscribe i remember be the light you wish to see until we meet again